Hey everyone, Ryan here with a first look and unboxing at the Corsair K60 Vengeance Gaming Keyboard. It's a great first person shooter gaming keyboard with a couple things we can check out on the case. On the box here, we got the Cherry MX mechanical key switches. It's going to give you that great clickety clack feeling. When you go through typing on the keys here, it's going to be very nice uh, tactile feedback that you're definitely going to be able to tell. It also comes with the 1 through 6 WASD textured keys for better control of gaming and other things like that when you're doing your first person shooter you got to be able to feel those keys up there uh, also noted on the front of the box you have full anti-ghosting and 20 key rollover meaning that you can press down if you have 20 fingers you can press down 20 keys on here and they will all register at once uh, which is very important for gaming and definitely go to for first person shooters so without further ado, let's get this thing open. Alright, so here we go. There's the different texture you can see on these keys. Got a little bit of a grippy feel compared to the normal keys. We'll check that out later. We can try to replace the keys that are on here already with these different keys. Let's check those out. Take those aside for a moment. Let's get out the main thing we're going to look at in this one. Whoa! The box falls apart a little bit there. Here's the keyboard. Very nice sounding. Set that over here for a second. Get some more packaging. Get that out of the way. Here is a palm rest. Pretty cool. Little than that as well. Then you also have got some normal warranty guide and the quick start guide, which actually, we can check this out. You turn on your computer and plug it in. That's the guide. That's it. Simple as that. If you have any questions, you can contact Corsair on the back. Here's the information. But I think we'll be all right. So now we can come over here. Let's check out this keyboard. See what they have to offer. So you got the normal keys. And you hear the keys. Very nice sounding. I do really like that. It also help you out gaming a lot when you're trying to go for double and triple clicks. WASD. Is it loud? Yes. Is it unbearably loud? No. It says on the box that they're not really going to sound an annoying click. But you can definitely tell that these are mechanical. One gripe that a lot of people have about the Corsair K60 is that not all of the keys are in fact mechanical. You have the normal QWERTY here, this main block is mechanical. I'm going to put this down just so you can see the whole thing. These are mechanical, the arrows. The number pad is mechanical. So the rest of the keys, the functions, delete, insert, the home button, these are not mechanical. So they do have a little bit of a mushy, more bounce back feel. In the mechanical but it's not too bad one thing maybe the escape delete would have been nice if they included that being mechanical as well but two keys not the biggest deal but this gaming keyboard WASD and the numbers are the big key factor but with that in mind let's go ahead and check out this which has the palm rest here this is palm rest Pretty soft, not hard, not soft either, but to get that attached, you can also open it up. And on the inside, when you open this, you have the key removal tool right here. Then you have the number keys that also have their different texture to them. Maybe we get a better view of them right there. So I'm gonna take these off to show you how to do one of them with this tool pop it out. There it is. I'll show you how to do one and then I will come back and do the rest. It's easy as that. Right off, there's the A. And you put the other A back on. And that's it. Just one final thing here before I put on the one key. Just wanted to show you difference between the two you definitely see the soft touch versus the red top and here you can see the tops the one is more rounded for the gaming red one on the far left side so you'll be able to feel that 
with your finger when you're going over to the left side while gaming. So let's puff that up, pop that on now. I was expecting a little bit more of a click when I put it on, but nope, it's just kind of you press it down. And these are very nice. The WASDs are definitely very good. The one through six, yeah, they're nice. They aren't as distinguishable as the WASD because you got all four fingers here at once, but they are nice. Finally, the last couple things I wanted to go through before I wrapped up here. You can put this back together after keeping the keys inside. So again, I've stored all the other keys that I've taken off in there. And you can snap that back together and then attach it to the bottom here. Let's see, there's this little area where you can attach this. So all you do is take it and snap it on like so. So then once that's attached, you have the thumb rest here, put your hand down. Very comfortable for long gaming sessions. And then they also have included two USB ports. Now these are blue, but they are USB 2.0. And what it helps you through is a USB pass-through right here, which you can plug in your mouse right through there. You'll have no delay. It just passes it through to one of these. So that's it for me. I want to thank you for watching my first look in unboxing at the Corsair K60 gaming keyboard. I will definitely give you a heads up on how this goes in the gaming realm a little bit later after I've tested it out, playing some Battlefield and stuff like that. But that's it for now, and I will see you all next time.